I, this is the first time I've done this since I'm kind of new at it, but this picture has validity. It does not appear to be photo retouched in any way. It was shared with me through the group um, Mustang Medic Digital Soldiers on Telegram. And of course they don't want credit for it <laughs> because most of the people in this community want to stay anonymous. Obviously not me, but check out this picture right here. This picture shows a large group of people. It, it, unfortunately, it's not in focus. It must've been taken from a building from a long shot. There's rumors about it. And again, I'm not out to create conspiracy theories. I'm just reporting what I know. So check it out guys and look at this picture. I'm going to put it full screen. Now, Tell me what you can find out about this. This is a Mustang Medic alert to all Mustang Medic um, digital soldiers. What is that? Is this real? Uh, the date right now, I believe, is the... I, I don't gosh, I didn't check. 31st or 1st? I'm not sure. It was the 30th yesterday. I don't know how many days are in this month. January. I think it's 30. Anyway. This is approximately January 27th, 28th it was taken at the White House. You can see the structure there, and you can see a lot of people, and there's some flags in there too. And I'm going to do another shot and zoom in on those flags. It looks like an American flag, and there's a black flag there. Some people are saying they're children. That's just, all of this is not cor corroborated. I only have one source on this, and... I'm not reporting that this is a real photograph. I'm just saying this was given to me and it's worth looking into and I need your support online. So Mustang Medic, it's not opinion. Well, it's not, well, I guess it's reporting on a possible photograph that's actually some activity that's going on at the White House. We, you've seen the pictures that I've done um, from the from the fencing of the structure. I haven't been able to get back to it to see if it's go, going up or going down. Um, my colleague, uh, my friend, um, Gary, thought it was going down. I think it was going up. So, again, I do want to say this is very important that Mustang Medic will not be affiliated. There are people that I, that I come and work with and do things with, but I am a sole proprietor, not affiliated with any group or person. I'm just a guy from South Jersey that wears a cowboy hat that wants to know the truth and is in Washington, D.C. So I'm going to say Mustang Medic reporting in Washington, D.C. in a very snowy Sunday. Um, I did do a post yesterday uh, to the community portion of the YouTube account, and about a 1,000 of you want me to do a live stream today. So I'm going to attempt to trudge out there in the snow and see what I can get for you guys if there's any visibility. Of the, I'm probably going to target the Capitol. That didn't sound right. Not target. I'm going to go probably go to the Capitol. But we'll see. I, the locations I go to, I just kind of pop up, I shoot, and I get, and they get out. <laughs> Welcome to a whole new world here at Mustang Medic. And again, very grateful for the support. Grateful for the new Patreons. I have not used that account for a long time. And I'm going to, I'm going to utilize the Patreon account for more theories because I don't like putting out theories. I'm this is dangerous for me. I don't want to, I do not, I'm not to, not out to create um, conspiracy theories. I'm out to figure out what the truth is about them, debunk them, or actually be able to say that they are real. And I'm not going to report anything that without three reliable sources at least. But you know what I say go to nine. Don't believe me, research it for yourself. We can't be sheep anymore. This is Mustang Medic on a very snowy Sunday. God bless you. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Don't forget it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm humbled and I'm grateful to be able to be your the people's journalist. Oh, and I wanted to say, Ed Aronian gave me that idea. Uh, he's awesome. He's a great guy, friend of mine. Uh, he, if you're, I, I wanted to say this because I just wanted to show my gratitude. He's, he does classic cars. He's, if you're a classic car guy, it's back from my past world um, at the Classic Auto Mall in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Ask for Ed if you're looking for a classic car. He's a great guy. He deserves the support. 
and we all have to support each other. Thanks, guys, and God bless.